Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're playing a little game. Whether you agree or disagree, doesn't matter. That's the game we're playing. <laughs> Good one. Have you seen this trend? It's been around for a little while now. There's a lot of different um, adaptations. I've seen a lot of people do it about marriage, relationship kind of questions, and maybe we'll do one for the other channel. But today, it's all about food and whether we strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. We're doing a little bit different. I saw some other people put lines and you had a cup or whatever and you moved it to whatever box and then you could put it in the middle for neutral. We don't have a neutral. We're putting no. our straws in a cup. So there's no, uh, let's put it a little bit no closer so we can, yeah, we have to, we have to <clears throat> declare an opinion on all things food. So let us know, play along with us down in the comments. I think that would be really fun. Yes, so we have a big A for strongly agree. We've got a lowercase a for, you know, somewhat agree. And yeah. Same thing for disagree. Yeah, this is John's art artwork, by the way. Uh, ready to get started. We're gonna put our straw in a cup. John has oh, not seen I any failed. of, listen. <laughs> Do we need to have a practice? <laughs> you said put a straw in a cup, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm familiar with your work. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yes. All right. Here's the first statement. John has not heard any of these. None. And I don't remember what I wrote. So, And I don't have my glasses on, so we'll all be surprised at the same time. Ready? Yes. Um, I think so. Pineapple okay. belongs on pizza. One, two, three, go. So I agree with that statement. I mean, I like pineapple on pizza. Not every pizza, but you know, like pineapple and Canadian bacon. But uh, I don't agree that that, you know, it belong. I think pineapple is good in lots of other things. Yeah, I love pineapple. You know I love pineapple. Um, I said disagree because it's not something I would ever order. Also, I've had it before and I didn't love it, but it's been a really long time. And what do they say? If you know, let us know. They, they say that your palate changes like every blank number of years. I feel like it's every five years your palate changes. So maybe you don't like something that you used to love or vice maybe. versa. So I bet it has been 20 years at least since I've tried it. Wow. So in an upcoming video, we're going to be trying some things that we think we don't like, but we're not really sure because it's okay. been a really long time since we've tried them maybe and see if we change our minds about things. So All right. anyway, pineapple on pizza. Pineapple let us know on pizza. You okay. Right. Next. Take your straw. Mustard is the worst oh, okay. condiment. The worst condiment. One, two, three, go. Okay. I mean, I don't know that it's the worst. I'm. You mentioned that to me, and ever since then, everybody probably saw the gears turning in my head. <laughs> yeah. While I'm like, what is the worst? Yeah. I, yeah. Same. <laughs> and here, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, I can mostly say strongly agree on this one, but I'm like, there's something out there that somebody's gonna put in the comments that I think is worse than that. Yeah. Also, I like stone ground mustard. And I do like sometimes yellow mustard, like in things. So yeah. it's not the worst, I don't think. I don't know. What's worse than mustard? Uh, mustard? Pickle relish. Yeah, that's the worst. Mm. Relish. I don't know. Also, it's very different, right? What, yeah. You know? I don't know. One, yeah. I think of relish more like in the toppings family. More like onions. Mm. Rather than like ketchup, mustard, mayo. I do believe technically, though, it's a condiment. So. I think technically no. it is, too. <laughs> but then you look at soy sauce, which could be considered a condiment, but True. it's also a sauce. True. Let's, let's not go down the rabbit hole. Yeah, we don't want to go down the rabbit hole. But okay. Anyways. 
That's how I feel. Ready? About mustard. Yeah. Pie is better than cake. One, two, three, go. I love cake. Oh, and I would too. always choose it if there was a cake that I liked better. If it's carrot cake and chocolate cream pie, oh my gosh. I'm going pie. So it depends on the cake and it depends on the pie. True. That's why I'm kind of just going, you know, not so much middle of the road, but I somewhat disagree with that because there are some pies out there that are delicious. Um, but I am definitely a cake eater. So, you know, I am very tempted to take my straw out of there and put it in the strongly disagree. <laughs> yeah. So that's where I'm at. I don't think you ever choose pie. Like if it's your birthday and we can get, or we're getting, you know, it's our anniversary or whatever. I'm, I feel like you would go cake more often than pie, but oh, for sure. John does get craving like a banana cream or a, or a chocolate. Like, yeah. French silk mm -hmm. pie. That's I mean, like who doesn't get craving that to oh be honest gosh. with you? Okay. Grab your straws. Ready? Grab your straws. Ha. Huh. This is controversial. I'm gonna need a second. Let me let me tell you what it is so you okay. can take a second. Yeah, too. let me think about it. A bowl of ice cream. <sighs> okay. Is always Katrina. better than a cone. A bowl of ice cream is always better than a cone. Okay, ready? ready? One, yes. two, three. Oh, somebody has strong feelings. Yeah, I love a cone. Oh man, especially when you get down to that last bite where all the ice cream is down on the bottom. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I went here because it depends. It depends on the flavor, depends. A. But also, um, a co it depends. Is it a, let's say, it's a caramel sundae, right? Mm -hmm. And it's got the oozy goozy caramel and the melty kind of ice cream, right? Yeah. And if you can eat nuts, which I wish I could, nuts on top, that's like a perfect little dish of ice cream. And hard packed ice cream in a cone isn't it for me. No. But give me a bowl versus a soft serve cone and I'm always going to go cone. That's it. We got to go get some soft serve cones right now. So we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> soft serve with a cone? Yes. Yeah, Hard pack sure. with a cone? If we go to the local ice cream shop, I don't, you rarely get if, if it's hard packed ice cream, you don't get a cone. Then you get a uh, shake usually, or you get right. something else. That's a matter of convenience, right? But I, I, I'm I'm not opposed to hard packed ice cream in a cone. That's good too. I don't like it as much. I feel like the danger with hard packed ice cream is you've got multiple scoops. You've, mm -hmm. you, you're you in a danger zone of licking the top and scoop flop right off. Right off. Right? <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful for sure. That's problem know. number one. Problem number that's two. That's improper scoopage and uh, assembly of your cone right there. That's that's what that yeah, is. Yeah, but the other thing is with soft serve ice cream, it goes down in the cone and it's yeah, so good. It is. And with hard packed ice cream, it doesn't really get down in the cone as much. What's down there is just melted ice cream. That's not as good as soft serve. And see, you got you to gotta do it right though. You know, you got to take your time. You can't just scoop one scoop and plop it on top. That I'm is not. not Right, you gotta I'm put saying it down inside. We're at an ice cream shop. Oh, I'm not cream. making my own cone. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, apparently, Thank you. App apparently, we need to go sit down in front of somebody and have this conversation because we've got some strong opinions over here. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, this might be controversial between oh, you boy. and them. What? Yeah, you and them. Uh, coffee. Yeah is better than tea. Oh, no <laughs> question. And the same. Absolutely no question. For me, and it's all adaptations, right? I like hot coffee better than hot tea. And I like cold coffee better than I like, like iced tea. Mm. Yeah. I mean, a good iced tea is good iced tea, right? Uh, but I do like, you know, if I think it's easier to get a good iced tea than it is easier to get like a good iced coffee. 
Oh, I do not agree. Well, I think people do it wrong. They, yeah. You know, I mean, it's easier. You just dump some sugar in it. But yeah. with a iced coffee, you got to get ratios right, you know. And, it, and a lot of that is up to personal preference. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, I might have, I, I could be convinced to move my straw here. No, you can't. Because as I'm thinking about it, Here's when tea wins for me okay. over coffee. All right, let's hear it. So I, in my head, when I heard that question, I was thinking how I would drink my coffee. Mm -hmm. Cream, sugar, whatever. Okay. But if you're talking pure black coffee versus pure, nothing, you know, not enhanced coffee, not enhanced tea, mm -hmm. tea every day of the week beats coffee, in my opinion. Well, I don't agree with that. Disagree. Which is which <laughs> actually is better for you because like if I want to have coffee, then I need all the cream and sugar. If I want to have tea, I don't. I like like the citrus notes and stuff that you find in yeah. tea. Well, that's true. So, let's I know. still disagree with it. That's How you true. Really okay. Somebody's coming to the states. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and vote on this too if if you're in the states already. The number one food you would tell them that you have to try is pizza. Come to the States, that's the number one thing, that's the thing we do the best. The number one food in the States to try is pizza. One, two, three. <laughs> See, I don't know that I've had pizza anywhere else. I. I'm not saying so. that we do pizza better than anybody else. Okay. I took it like, we have great pizza, so if you have the opportunity to visit the States, that's something you should try. Yeah. I, you know, uh, I don't know. It depends. I, I somewhat disagree with that just because I think that, you know, there's great pizza all over the place. You know what I mean? Oh, I hear what you're saying. If they're coming here, what are you going to try? Pizza? Well, in here. No, I would, I'd say like a burger. Well, there's uh, great burgers everywhere. And I thought of burger too. Yeah. But, but here's I think what, we're known for our burgers. So. I think so too. But if it depends on where you're visiting. Yeah. Right? If you're coming to Chicago, yes, you should get pizza. Oh, if yes. you're going to New York City... Yes, yes, you should get pizza. For sure. New if, York style, we got Chicago style. We have Quad, Quad City Cities, style. You can get Quad City which style. Which is where we are. Um, if you're visiting Florida, yeah. you should, I mean, I, we don't live in Florida. I'm sure there's amazing, we're not trying to diss anybody. Right. I'm sure you can get amazing pizza in Florida. But what yeah. I'm saying is, you want seafood if you go to Florida. Yeah, right? it's like the whole adage of when in Rome, you know, when in Rome. Yeah. You don't want to, when you go into Florida, you want seafood. So that's why I said agree, because it depends on where. In, in that's certain true. places, you absolutely want pizza. Yeah. What would you say then? I you don't said know. burger. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah, burger. If you're going to the south, you should try southern food. Whether or not that would right. be your thing, I don't know, but barbecue. Yeah, um, Tex Mex. Yeah, we've got, you know, Americanized Mexican food, which is delicious. Oh, in New England, you want definitely seafood and Yeah, there's so many different regional, you know, yeah. foods here that it's hard to say there's one thing that's just all American. You if know, and I guess the, that would be burgers. If but. you're in the Midwest where we are, you want meat. We are like yeah. you want a good like stuffed pork chop or that's right a steak or whatever. But but it would be in the tops depending on where you're visiting for sure. Let us know if we visit you <clears throat> wherever you are, what's something that we should try. We gotta start compiling our list for when we travel here. Next, mashed potatoes okay. must have gravy. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. I agree that about the disagree. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it depends on the gravy. I had really great mashed potatoes and the gravy has ruined it. And a lot of times, it, and the other thing is it depends on what I'm having. I'm having fried chicken. Yes. I want chicken gravy yes. on my mashed potatoes. Right. Yep. I if agree. I'm having a steak yeah. and I'm having mashed potatoes, yeah. I've had amazing steak with amazing beef gravy, but I don't need it. Right. It just it completely depends. Are you that way? Yeah, I agree with you. 
exactly on that. I think we feel the same way So about gravy on mashed potatoes. I think it's good sometimes, but it's not necessary. Mashed potatoes are delicious the way they are yeah. with butter and whatever else on it. Seasoning. Salt, pepper. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, next. Oh. McDonald's okay. is the best fast food chain. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Disagree. They strongly. Yeah, they do their thing for sure, and they're everywhere. And people will go to McDonald's. I mean, that's one of those businesses that's going to be around forever. By the way, a little plug for our other channel. We're also recording. Um, we just watched The Founder. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, which is like the beginnings of McDonald's, and it's crazy the swindle that takes place. Very interesting. In that story. I guess I need to look up and see if that's true. I assume it's I based it on a true Pretty story. True, so yeah. very interesting story. Um, but they they obviously do they, their thing and they're gonna be around forever. But best, no. No, definitely not best. Um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, places that are better. Like around here, we've got Culver's, which is amazing. And my number one, Taco Bell. For sure. Those are my two favorites, too. But McDonald's, here's what. McDonald's fries are greater than any other fast food fries. For sure, when they get really it right. Good. Yeah, But yeah. out of 10 times, I would say I get really satisfying fries the way I want them. Maybe only 6 out of 10 times. If that, yeah, it's, it's a, uh, yeah, once they're a little old, not so good yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And if you let them get cold, forget about yeah, it. Yeah. If you're taking them home to eat them, it's not the same. You nope. have to eat your fries in the car on the way home. <laughs> that's how we roll. And then we eat our sandwich <laughs> when we get here. Right? That's right. All right. Thank you. But I do vote McDonald's for number one fast food dessert this time of year. Uh, um, okay. Shamrock shake. We might dis I know we're gonna disagree on this. I'm I'm sure of it. Okay. Ready? Alright. Waffles are better than pancakes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's wait for the <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, I thought you would like pancakes better. No way. Maybe it's just the amount of times in a day John says pancakes. He's always thinking uh, about see, them. The thing is, pancakes are easier to make yeah. than waffles, you know. I mean, we've got a waffle maker, which which helps and everything, but you got to get it out. And then, then you, you got to clean it clean up. Clean it up, yeah. and you know, you got to have your spray and everything, whereas you get a pan, you can make some pancakes. Oh my gosh, I love the way waffles hang on to like their syrup and I like the texture. Even toaster waffles are good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But to be honest with you, I haven't met a pancake that I didn't enjoy as well. Yeah. So they're both great, but here's the thing. Frozen waffles are better than frozen pancakes. Uh, agree. And I have, you know, even though I just said that, I feel like out in the world, I have had worse pancakes than waffles. Like the waffle maker kind of does the magic yeah. where sometimes pancakes, the batter isn't just right. And then right. they're like rubbery or too thick. Yeah. Hard. Crispy. Yeah. No. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Next. Um, oh. When making cereal, okay. the correct way is to pour the milk in the bowl first and then the cereal. Milk first, then cereal. I understand. One, two, three. That's crazy talk. Come on. <laughs> and I Who puts the milk in first? Uh, I, there are people that do that. There are people that swear by it. I just watched somebody say that they put the milk in, then they just put light, you know, just a little bit of cereal. Oh, at a time, that. so it's not soggy, it just gets... That's what I thought they were gonna say. Yeah. No, then they said they toss that milk, and then... What? And then do the same thing all over again. I thought that... That is ridiculously I baseball. thought exactly that that's what they were gonna say, that they just put a little bit in, eat the cereal out, pour more cereal in. That makes sense. In fact, we got a fancy bowl that's like that, right? Where mm -hmm. you put the cereal in and then the milk is separate. The cereal can... sits 
up higher. Like the milk's down here, the cereal's yeah. up here, so you can just kind of feed in how much you want. Yeah. 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 Cereal first. For sure. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, creamy peanut butter. All right. Is better than crunchy peanut butter. One, two, three, go. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> good thing we can never have oh. peanut butter around here. Peanut butter, creamy peanut butter is good. I mean, crunchy peanut butter is good too, but I think I would prefer uh, creamy as opposed to crunchy, but it depends on what you're going to use it for. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Crunchy. I don't think I've actually had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think everybody just saw my head explode. What? <laughs> yeah, you know, when I was a kid and everything, I was just kind of like, no thank you, no, no. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've made you one, but I'm pretty sure that was fake peanut butter. I don't think so. Oh my gosh. Cut Guess the video. Guess what we're going to have a video <laughs> doing. <laughs> what? John's reaction to trying For real peanut now. butter and jelly sandwich. For real now. This is how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is how it has to be. And this is going to make me cry and so sad. So can all of you go do this <laughs> for me. Eat it and enjoy it for me. Okay. Here's what you have to do. White bread. Okay. Exclusively. Then grape jelly, crunchy peanut butter, cut on a diagonal. That is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hmm. Feel okay. free to I, use that recipe. <laughs> I, I never would have known. No, it's got to be grape and it's got to be right. cut in a triangle. I'm telling you, it's got to be all those things have to happen. My mother tried to I guess give I'll trust me, you because I've never had one actually. She so. tried to give me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on wheat bread. That is not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I like wheat bread. I like it just fine, but not for peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I, I, I think that would be odd. Yeah, turkey on sandwich on wheat. Yep. What you right, know? Right, whatever. Right. An egg sandwich on wheat. Yep. Not peanut butter and jelly. Not at all. I think that would be. I have strong wrong. feelings about Apparently. that one. Okay. Um. Oh, here's another one. We're going to disagree. Uh, Probably not us, but us and them. Uh, I have a feeling. Uh, Some of them. Bacon. Yeah. Must be crispy. As opposed to what? <laughs> you know how sometimes it's not. Like, you get it and it's... Floppy? Yeah. Oh, no, I can't have floppy bacon. Well, you can talk about that when we're done. <laughs> one, two, three, go. But okay. not too crispy, right? Yeah, yeah. There is such a thing as too crispy. It's got to be just teeth. right. It's got to be. It's got to be crispy. I mean, I've, I've, I think I've got it perfected at this point. If I pay attention, you go over. <laughs> if I don't pay attention, he goes over. He never yeah, under. He'll go over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have had bacon that wasn't crispy that I also enjoyed. Mm -hmm. But if I have a, if I get to choose if it's crispy or if it's you know, flip floppy. Sometimes, like let's say, here's when you might have had bacon that wasn't crispy. You go to a, you and I have done this together. You go to like a brunch buffet where it's in like a steam tray. Yeah. Then it's not right. crispy. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. Yeah, I was going to say, reminds me of when I was in the military. That's like, yeah. you know, they had, you had bacon and they pull it out and it just kind of it doesn't have to be. I mean, even Flip -flop. for me, bacon over or under or not cooked exactly how I would choose is still bacon. It's still bacon. It's still good. That's why I went here. All right. Grab your straw. Almost done. Okay, next. You're having a bowl of unsweetened cereal. Okay. So we're talking cornflakes, Rice Krispies. Yeah, I know what you mean. Grape nuts. Okay. That sort of thing. Grape nuts. That unsweetened cereal must have sugar on it. Well, you mentioned grape nuts, so all right. We'll just leave grape nuts out of it now. <laughs> all right, so Rice Krispies or Corn Flakes, <laughs> would you add sugar if you were eating it? Ready? 
One, two, three, go. Uh, I mean, I think in the past, I, um, you know, as a kid and everything, I would definitely put sugar on that sort of thing. And sometimes I would now, but my palate's changed, I think. I think I'm able to eat uh, cereal like that without. I can't remember the last time we bought a cereal like that. And so mm -hmm. the last time I tried it, I don't know. Here's, we don't eat a lot of cereal. When we do eat cereal, when I eat cereal, it's usually frosted mini wheats where there's some, you know, frosting on one side, mm -hmm. not on the other. So there's a little bit of sweetness built in, but it's also not like a straight sugary cereal, yeah. like, you know, Lucky Charms or whatever. No, no shade in that either. <laughs> yeah. Right now I'm eating Raisin Bran and I don't think that's really sweetened too much except for the raisins you know all right are we ready for the next one i think so all right i'm i'm curious though if i were to try rice krispies right now or cornflakes right now would i enjoy it without sugar i don't know because i don't i can't remember a time that i tried <laughs> that kind of cereal my whole life you yeah, know what i mean yeah yeah i mean yeah i don't think i do on raisin bran Oh, I see a short video I coming up. I don't know. Out. I, got, I got to figure it out. All right. If you're going to the gas station to pick up a soda, okay. you are always going to get a fountain pop over a bottle or a can of pop. All right. I mean, I don't know why I'm thinking about it. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Always. Not always. There have been plenty of times where we've gotten bottle ones, but you know, I think it that's more of like, you know, you're you have to close it up again or something. Are you gonna yeah. take it with you or if I'm gonna whatever. be outside, I put a lid yeah. on top but, on a bottle. But otherwise, I agree with you. Fountain is the best. It kind of depends though for you, I think. And where it's different for you is if you're really thirsty for like an orange soda. And yeah. they don't have it, you know, yeah, right. some fountain pops, you can get, psh, you everything. know, yeah. everything. You can mix Coke and this. Yeah, go to Bucky's, right? Yeah, <laughs> you can get a million different flavors. And sometimes it's just like Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, <laughs> yeah. you know, then you might get a bottle. Then I might even get a bottle <laughs> if it's just, if those are my choices. Well, let us know what you think. Okay, last one. You ready? Yep. Oh, I forgot. All no. right. Drummies. Are better than flats. I dropped my straw. One, two, three, go. I strongly agree. I am a chicken wing aficionado. Yeah, that's who you should listen to. <laughs> those drummies are delicious. The flats are good too though. Yeah, I like them both. Some people try to get just one or the other. I don't really love chicken wings mm. like that. I'll eat them, but it's a lot of mess usually and eating with your fingers and yeah. I'll eat them at home. Um, I like them both at home. I, I like them both. It's just, um, I guess, not as messy to eat the drums, you know, and I think I like that part of the, the meat better. You know what's funny, speaking of chicken wings, is John often times will order wings. Like if we go to that kind of a place that has burgers and wings and you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, maybe like seven of 10 times you would get chicken wings. Love like, me some chicken wings. Like really frequently. And for me, I don't know that I've ever had chicken wings in a restaurant. Let me, let me tell you the, the truth here. I have never ordered chicken wings for my meal ever. <laughs> The only time I've ever had chicken wings like out to eat is um, like my son got some and I tried one or you got some and I tried one or my dad loved chicken wings and we would like have pizza and then he would get wings and maybe I would have one if he got them for the table. But I have never personally got chicken wings for my meal. Never have I ever. Hmm. All right. I would. I love them. But we do have them sometimes for dinner here, yeah. but we'll have like fries or, you know, other stuff. Um, like but it's got to have a little spice to it for me, you know? Yeah, and Some I don't want like, it to have spice for me. Yeah. Like That's why I never ordered chicken wings, right? Barbecue chicken wings, no thanks. I mean, they're good, but I would prefer 
like a spice. To I it. love it's hot where it burns your lips. Yeah, and that's probably why I never get wings because yeah. that's always a danger. I like a good garlic parm wing, that's and okay. I love ranch wings, the kind that are breaded and have the ranch powdered seasoning in the breading. That's how John yeah. makes them for me, and I like them that way. Those I don't like if it's saucy and sticky and messy and we're out somewhere. That is not... It's not worth it to me. <laughs> it's not worth it to not be all sticky. Time. I don't even, yeah. If I loved them, I would go through all that, but. Yeah. So this was fun. We do have another one that we're doing on the other channel where it's other random things, right? Okay. Uh, maybe a couple little controversial topics. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get into it over on the other channel. So what we'd love for you to do is come find us on the other channel, then just watch the ones that you want to, but we have the game going and we're going to be doing some traveling and some Amazon and um, like some Amazon product reviews and we're going to be doing some little wow. DIY stuff Organizing. around the house. Organizing. All that stuff. stuff. Like that. Yeah, over on the other channel. And then we have another channel where we do games. So if you're into that sort of thing, we just picked up the new Kirby game. We've mm -hmm. got Diablo that we started. What else are we doing? Um, Mario 3D. Yeah. There's oh, a yeah. new Pikmin coming out. We're going to do the new House Flipper. So lots of stuff going on. Please come and join us on all the channels and then just watch the ones that you want to. We'd love to have you join us. Come find us on uh, Instagram as well. And our Instagram is now feeding to Facebook again. So either of those places is a great place to find us. Also, I want to stop and invite you to put your statements about food yeah. down in the comments of this video. We have a whole nother page of other things that I saw on the internet, but we would rather react to your food opinion. So let us know down in the comments of this video. Now, if you love playing games. Yes, we do. And uh, letting your opinions be known, or us. Or the video. This video, a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.